With still no word from the North Korean government, China's Long Dan again urged all sides to come to the bar. We have now a late response by Admiral Toshiro Otomo of the Japanese ISDF. Despite the ambassador's efforts, nothing has changed. The Japanese people must continue to endure harassment and humiliation. We eagerly anticipate the arrival of the... Hey, I hate you leaving us! Get back to Panama! Hate to eat and run, sir. We have a few loose ends to tie off before we can rejoin. Well, you can make it back for the 4th of July. I'll show you one heck of a good time, boy. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Fisher, the arms that Lacerda had were purchased by someone using a Panamanian offshore bank as proxy. I want to take a peek inside their records. Unfortunately, it's not as simple as that. This op can't look like a U.S. intelligence gig. So to cover it up, you'll need to crack the bank's vault and lift some bearer bonds. Property of the French government. I hit the bank's servers last night, but I didn't find much. All their workstations run drivers for plug-and-play hard drives. I'm guessing they secure them physically every night. Crazy world we live in where electronic intrusion is more of a threat than physical intrusion. Anyway, they probably store the drives in the main vault, meaning they're not going to be easy to get a hold of. First, the good news. You've been in this bank before. You were part of a CIA raiding team that went in in 89 looking for some of Noriega's drug money. Most of the intelligence we have on the bank actually comes from your team. The bad news is that we have a lot of physical security. Lasers, motion sensors, locked doors, cameras, the whole lot. And none of it was there in 89. We've also contacted a, a specialist to help crack the vault. You better talk to him. Look, I don't know who you are or why I'm helping you, other than it's better than staring at the ceiling of Marcel. I hear you have to face some Mason Wells 88. Well, it ain't a one-man job, but they tell me you can do the work of five men. Fine, I says. I had your mate Willie make a little deposit for you. You'll be needing some things from a safety deposit box in the little vault that we can use to crack the main one. We'll continue on our course for the Yellow Sea and send you back by helicopter to Panama City. I have no authorization to act inside Panamanian borders, so you'll be operating covertly out of the embassy. You and your partner will be on your own in Panama. Hey, Emilio. Did you see these new motion sensing lights? No. What do they do? When they detect movement, the light turns on. I it's thought I heard the noise. Like magic. I'm going to get one of those from my garage. Offset with intelligence on the bank that you and your team gathered back in 89. Ah, uh, the memories. Yeah. Judging from your report, sounds like it was quite a vacation. It was, actually. I spent most of the rest of that year sleeping in a ditch on the road between Baghdad and Kuwait. Oh, well. If it's any consolation, I had a bad year that year, too. What? You weren't working for the government during the Gulf War? No. I was in 10th grade. Oh. Right. Yuck. Fisher. I've got a copy of a work order here that the bank filed with their insurance company. It says the dome windows over the lobby are magnetically locked. See if you can find a breaker or junction box up here and power down the lock. Right. Good work, Sam. That shut down the magnetic locks on the windows. Hey, wait a minute. Power spike. The lobby. It looks like a laser grid just came online. Lasers? Lasers are so... 90s? I was going to say 70s. Can you please stop making me feel old? Got bad news for you, Sam. You are old. Fisher, here's our advisor. We'll walk you through the steps that will get you into that vault. Be patient with him. Oh, he's one of those. Right. Hello? Is this thing on, then? It's on. 
I'm here. Have you been briefed? Whatever. This, this is the Mason Wells 88. Each one is unique. You want to get a butcher's up this girl's skirt. First thing you need to do is authorize an opening. How do I do that? The bank president and the treasurer will each have an authorization lock in their office. There'll be another one in the security office. You need to disable all three. Okay. One maintains an overnight float of of a thousand Balboas. I'm not interested in petty cash. You'll never crack the main vault. It's impregnable. Then you won't mind if I try. No, no, of course. You're the boss. Whatever you say. What can you do to help me? The retinal scanner here. I can unlock it. That's very kind of you. The gold is heavy. You won't be able to carry much. This buckle, fix that buckle. This is broken. The other is dirty. Always slaving for you, cleaning up after you. Always taking care of you so you can do your work. Oh, don't worry. If you break it, Paco will fix it. Paco has nothing better to do than fix every stupid little thing that breaks. What was that code again? At 8645. There I'm going. Now, what else can Paco fix for you? I wanted to thank you for fixing the keypad on that door. Yeah, yeah, that's Paco. Always doing the dirty work. You want to tell me the door code now? Sure, why not? It's 8645. You want me to write it down? No, that's okay. Paco doesn't give his numbers out to just anyone. <laughs> Zerkezi, is that some kind of dried meat? He's probably the best computational theorist in the world. He worked with Morgan Holt on Project Watson. Where it is, he's gone off his nut. Sounds like bad guy material to me.
That's a relief. Our installer seems to be compatible with their local OS. That's it? Just plug and play? That's the idea. No fuss. Get all eight of those forged mails uploaded. Make the robbery look like an inside job. Exactly. That's the Treasury's authorization. Two more to go. Made by second rate laborers, now bowling each other for a Panamanian army service contract. Oh, no mistake. The quality of the uniforms is exemplary. They'll never wear out. So? Well, they're about five degrees hotter, they weigh eight ounces more, they don't breathe at all, and they're itchy. Well, it doesn't sound like a very good business move to me. Why would the Americans do that? 
From a business perspective, it's a terrible move. But let me ask you something. What? Hypothetically speaking, if you had to invade Panama, would you rather fight an army with disposable second-rate uniforms, or an army who was overburdened, overheated, itchy, and couldn't burst? Oh, I didn't think of it that way. Neither did our generals when they pocketed a juicy U.S. contract. Looks like more lasers ahead, Sam. This whole place is singing with photons. There's a guard who seems to be walking around here, no problem. Maybe he has some kind of beacon. Get close and you can stay in his electronic shadow. That's a neat trick you do with the lasers. Okay? What? The grids. They detect some kind of signal emitted by a transmitter stitched into my uniform. Give me the transmitter. I don't know where it is. I swear. It's just stitched into my uniform somewhere. Hmm. That's bad news for you. Because I still need to get past the lasers. And since I don't want to undress you, that means I have to take your body. My body? You... You mean my unconscious body? I hope. Either way works for me. Please. You don't need to kill me. That's half of the forged mail, Sam. Four more to go. Thanks. I've always found it hard to count past three. No need to be smarmy, Sam. Bad feeling up. Incoming fire! What is it?
That's two down. Now just authorise from the President's office. No. Are there any other ways in or out of this room that you might want to tell me about? Uh, uh, birds? Birds? What do you mean, birds? The vents above the fan. I think they lead outside. I can hear birds nesting in them. Well, that is useful information. Does that mean I get to leave? Let me think about it. I don't know anything else. <gasps> thinking, Fisher. Now, even if you're caught on camera, they won't be able to ID you. Chinese ambassador to the United States, Long Dan, was recalled to China today for an emergency meeting with government officials regarding ongoing problems between Korea and Japan. Long Dan is expected to renew his efforts to bring Korean, U.S., and Japanese delegates to the bargaining table. to know when I'm there. about I've been working here for two years prove it prove it uh, okay well the key code to the back doors it hey wait a minute you're trying to trick me you're the one who's not supposed to be here 
All right. You caught me. I surrender. Oh, wait. Instead, how about you tell me the key code anyway, and I won't be forced to hurt you? Oh, well, since you put it that way, the code is 3901. Thanks. You almost tricked me, but I'm too smart. <laughs> Sam, it's Will. Turtle said one of these boxes had some equipment in it. Chest level, right hand side, number 1024. <laughs> Careful with that gear. What is all this stuff? The charges are for the vault, and the other thing in me, Bob, is a telemetric lockpick. A telemetric lockpick? Head down to the main vault. We'll walk you through it there. Alright, next you need to pop both of these locks at the same time. That's what the telemetric pick is for. Exactly. It reads your movements in one lock and mimics them in the other lock, in real time. You guys use some cool toys. Right. Now once you get the feel for each pin, you have to wait a second for the telemetric pick to sync up. Once it beats, Bob's your uncle, you can pick the pin and move to the next one. Don't try and pick a pin before you're in sync, or you'll have to restart. Right. Give me a... I'm holding 50 million bucks. I think we need to talk about that raise again. Mm. 25 cents an hour and not a penny more. Mm. Deal. you were inserted. Over the wall from the front courtyard? That's right. Redding will be waiting for you nearby. On my way.
in sports. Gimme. Great work, Fisher. Now any investigation into the robbery will only point back at the investigators. So the Panamanian government will end up sending some innocent banker to prison? Innocent, if you don't count providing arms to revolutionaries. Oh, right, I forgot. Bankers. Evil. So Zerkezi and Morgenholt are the only two people who ever saw those algorithms. And Morgenholt is dead. And Zerkezi is connected to a mystery guest we know nothing about. Devorah. Morgenholt and Zerkezi are geeks, not terrorists. Maybe this Devorak is some kind of puppeteer. No hitter, bottom of the eight. 2-0, New York in the eight. Akira Watanabe is on the mound. He's pure concentration, pure focus. This is no coincidence. You're on your way to the Big Apple. Bruce Morgan Holt and Abrahim Zakezi were partnered together on Project Watson, the UN committee that cracked the mass kernels. They're the ones who discovered 512 encryption, the same encryption used in the messages you recovered at MCAS Bank. 
If this so-called Dvorak person has somehow gotten his hands on mass-based IW algos, we're in a world of hurt. I've been trying to penetrate Zerkezi's private network since we connected him to this mess. I've seen some tough network security before, and I expected Zerkezi to have top-of-the-line tech, but this is crazy. Zerkezi's server isn't just impenetrable or invisible. It's like... it's like looking for a shadow in a pitch-black room. It's driving me crazy. Things are turning sour in New York. It's been 24 hours since the blackout, and no one has a clue when it might end. We've got sporadic reports of unrest all over Manhattan, but it hasn't started to spill over yet. Word coming down from above is that the National Guard will be deployed within the hour. We'll need to insert you into an alley behind a building adjacent to the target building. Watch out for civilians. Fisher, the National Guard was deployed into Manhattan about an hour ago. I feel safer already. Watch your fire, Sam. Those boys aren't expecting to see you and they'll attack on sight. Do not, I repeat, do not kill any of them. I'll be careful. Good. <laughs> 